Hello there, I am Bendegu Shuli and I will be showing you a couple of tips and tricks in Aptar's reinforcement add-on. Beam complex element. Let's start with beam reinforcement. In the loaded reinforcement library, we can find a complex element folder and the RF beam object in it. Selecting this element and clicking on OK, I can place it on the floor plan. This element is a complex element and contains two rebars and stirrups in hole length. Going back to the floor plan, I select it and open the settings window. On the first settings tab, there is an option to select section profile. The size of it, the length of the element and the concrete cover. On the right side, I can choose which view of this element I would like to indicate on the floor plan. Let's go to the next settings tab. In this window, I can define stirrup groups and set parameters for them. For each stirrup group, I set different parameter values. Click on OK. The result appears on the floor plan. Here, I am able to modify it graphically. Going back to the settings window, I set other values for stirrup groups and changes appear on the drawing. The stirrup groups are possible to change manually with hotspots. In the settings window, I can set parameters that are bigger than the beam. And in this case, the reinforcement runs out of the geometry. All modifications will be visible not only on floor plan, but also in 3D. Now I select it in the 3D window and open the settings window. On the next tab, some other parameters of the stirrup can be set. Next tab. Here I can select the base placement method of stirrups. Next tab. In this window, I can define groups of rebars similar to stirrups. In a different group of rebars, I can define different values, position of rebar groups. Defined rebars appear on the floor plan and I can move them manually to the required position. If I need other diameters for one of the rebar groups, I do it in the settings window. I need one more group for bottom rebars. I add one more. Set the parameters and click on OK. I move them to the right position in 2D view and check it in 3D. On the next tab of the settings window, I can define the shape of each group of rebars. The shape of rebars is possible to modify in the model view as well. When all modifications are done, I create the cutting list of this beam. I select it and click on the cutting list icon in the reinforcement palette. Then I place the list on the floor plan next to the element. I can place this list anywhere on the drawing. The cutting list contains all parts, stirrups and rebars, listed separately by ID, length and diameter. At the end, the total weight is indicated. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at one of the email addresses in the description. You can also visit our website and find out more about our solutions. Link also in the description. Have a good day.